Hey guys, we're going to be covering a bit of the Gnostic Quran today and this surah that I'm talking about, it's amazing and I love these ones at the back of the Quran. They might be short but they're concise and they get the point across in very few words and sometimes the delivery is so striking, it literally just cuts right to your soul. And this surah really embodies life and you know what this life is fleeting and if you don't spend it doing what's important it's not even gonna matter and really this revelation came to me as a real punch when my uncle passed away really at that time I was going through a really tough time I was working at the airport cleaning rental cars I've talked about this in some previous videos and I was really trying to just break out of this mold and there was a lot of personal issues going on that I really wanted to resolve. But the morning I got the news that my uncle had passed away, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. And I realized, you know, whatever we're working for in this physical life, we leave it all behind. So what are we really working for? What is that which we can take with us? And at the funeral, when we were driving from the funeral home to the burial site, literally this surah was just playing in my head over and over and over again. It's just three verses, but these three verses get the point across more than, you know, volumes could ever. So I'm going to read my own direct translation because I know most of you guys don't speak Arabic. But the delivery, especially in the Arabic, is so concise that the wording and all oracles are absolutely concise. Source doesn't play games with words. Source literally is the living word. It even says, you know, you can't exhaust the words of love. Even if they made pens out of every single tree in the world and the oceans were ink seven times over, you cannot exhaust the words of Source. But Source is always concise, gets the point across without being superfluous. So this is my own direct translation of the three verses that literally hit home so hard to me. And once they did, I literally did the inner work and I shed that job cleaning rental cars. And the next thing I knew, I was working as a lead designer at a print shop. Actually, I ended up buying that print shop out. That's how much my life turned around when I really stopped focusing on gaining money or promotions or just a better position in the workplace and I really got in tune with Source. All of a sudden my talents started flourishing and I really was able to use them for something better that Source had in plan for me. So the first verse is just, in Arabic it's one word and it's wal ghasr and that literally means by the time but not just by time, it means by the sun as it declines in the sky and right now it's declining behind me in the sky it's about 20 after 5 or in late April afternoon and you can see that even the light starts to yellow you know it starts to have that mature effect and you know that the day is almost over and this is the time when there's most heat and not just heat but you know you gotta finish what you've planned doing for the day because there's not much time left in the day and that compares to the fading of life in time you know, when you cross over the hill, so to speak. So we're actually under the most pressure. So by the sun, as it declines in the afternoon sky. Inna l'insana lafi khusr. Which means, indeed, mankind is surely in loss or at a loss. And of course, this is obvious because, you know, man fades away as he ages, as things age. It's not just we're talking about life here. All things literally go through a gradual process of birth, sustenance, and then decay. That's the nature of creation, the trifecta of manifested reality. Because there's only one thing to manifest, and that is Source constantly emanating itself. <laughs> Which means, except those who have faith, the word is to believe, to actually have a security of knowingness and do righteousness. So you have to be actually manifesting good things in this world. You can't just have good beliefs and, you know, be slapping your neighbor at every turn. But the belief is the first step. And when you really have the faith as your foundation, the good works or righteousness just flows out of you. You're not forcing it. You're not faking it. It just flows out of you. And what kind of righteous deeds? The verse continues. 
which literally means you're enjoining each other, you're urging each other into truth. And what is truth? That is oneness with source, right? Whatever source is speaking, the real truth. And you're enjoining each other to patience. Of course, amid hardships, you have that anchor, that foundation of faith, that source is in charge. And of course, those actions just flow out of you when you have that foundation of faith. So if we're not doing this, really, at the end of the day, we are at a loss. So make sure that you're focusing on what's really important. What's really important is the development of your soul, is the development of a community where we are all functioning as a holistic organism, working together and creating the world that we all know we've come here to live in. We all know we're deserving of. We don't deserve to be cheated out of our dreams. Of course, not by other people, but not by our own actions. We can't be the ones sabotaging the development that Source has had planned for us in this life, in this world, because we've come to this physical plane for a reason, and that's not just for our own character development, that's to enjoin each other to the truth and to patience on top of that foundation that we have in our heart of faith in true Source. So do your part and know that sources in charge, have faith in that, and really stand in growing yourself growing that aspect of who we've come here to be and it's in doing so that we'll really reap the benefits and we're not going to be at a loss when we get out of this life and we see all that we've really accomplished so i love you guys i'll see you in the next video joel signing out once again agape salam namaste